Mighty. Why China's Type 15 light tank dominates plateaus. Why China's Type 15 light tank stands out. Hey there, military enthusiasts. On the stage of land warfare, tanks have always been the undisputed protagonists, revered as the kings of land combat. In most people's minds, the heavier a tank, the more formidable it is, strong firepower, excellent protection, like a mobile steel fortress. Light tanks, in comparison, might seem a bit like small fry. But did you know that in some special battlefields, the situation can be completely reversed? For instance, in plateaus and mountainous regions, heavy tanks are like elephants stuck in mud, slow-moving and with significantly reduced combat effectiveness, while light tanks can thrive, dominating the area. What's going on here? Today, let's unveil this mystery and talk about a light tank that has demonstrated extraordinary strength in special terrains, China's Type 15 light tank. In the complex terrains of modern warfare, a tank's adaptability is a critical factor in determining its combat effectiveness. As we all know, different terrains place vastly different demands on a tank's performance. In vast plains, heavy tanks certainly can leverage their powerful firepower and heavy armor to great advantage, becoming the dominators of the battlefield. But once they enter complex terrains like plateaus and mountains, the situation changes dramatically. In high-altitude regions, the air is thin, severely impacting engine power. A heavy tank's massive body and immense weight make climbing slopes and off-roading exceptionally difficult, like an athlete carrying a heavy burden who can't even run, let alone unleash their full combat power. According to relevant data, heavy tanks often lose more than half of their kinetic energy in plateau regions, it's like cutting their combat effectiveness in half. Faced with such challenges, countries worldwide have been striving to find solutions. Many nations have chosen to compromise, making trade-offs in tank performance. Take the USM-3 Bradley Cavalry Fighting Vehicle, for example, to pursue mobility and reconnaissance capabilities, it made significant sacrifices in armor protection. The M3 Bradley's armor is relatively thin, offering almost no defense against some anti-tank weapons, like a flimsy piece of paper that tears easily. Japan's Type 13 wheeled assault gun is similar, to achieve rapid deployment and flexible maneuverability, it abandons strong defensive capabilities, making it easily destroyed on the battlefield if it encounters heavy enemy weapons. Russia's Sprut SDM-1 also has similar issues, while it has certain advantages in some aspects, its lack of defensive performance significantly reduces its survivability in complex battlefields. While these countries' approaches meet certain specific operational needs to some extent, they also come with obvious drawbacks, often appearing powerless in high-intensity confrontations. However, China has forged a distinct path. China has a vast territory with diverse and complex terrains, including sprawling plains, rugged plateaus and mountains, and extensive water networks and rice paddies. This demands that China's army equipment must possess high adaptability, capable of exerting powerful combat effectiveness in various terrain conditions. To meet this need, Chinese researchers, through unremitting efforts, successfully developed specialized tanks, among which the Type 15 light tank is an outstanding masterpiece. The Type 15 light tank embodies the latest achievements in Chinese tank development. Its successful deployment with the Chinese army in 2018 was like a bombshell, attracting widespread attention in the international military community. Its emergence signifies China's significant voice in future tank warfare, injecting powerful momentum into the modernization of the Chinese army. So, what makes the Type 15 light tank so impressive? Chief designer Li Chunming proudly stated, the Type 15 tank is a new type of light tank that we built using brand new design concepts and methods. This light combat tank not only incorporates China's bold new ideas but also cleverly draws upon the wisdom of its predecessors. It retains the mature superior performance of China's main battle tanks while also being equipped with a hydropneumatic suspension system. This hydropneumatic suspension system is a gem, it effectively acts as a shock absorber, allowing the Type 15 light tank to maintain stability even when driving on rough terrain like plateaus and mountains, greatly enhancing the tank's mobility and firing stability. Imagine, on a rugged mountain road, other tanks might be severely jolted, unable to aim and fire accurately, 
while the Type 15 can move as if on flat ground, easily locking onto targets and delivering a fatal blow to the enemy, this advantage is simply too obvious. With this unique design, the Type 15 light tank is almost unrivaled in regions like plateaus and mountains, becoming the king of these special terrains. In terms of firepower, the Type 15 light tank also performs excellently. It can carry 38 rounds of 105mm rifled tank gun ammunition at once. While its caliber might not compare to the Type 99A tank with its 125mm smoothbore gun, its fire control system has reached the level of the Type 99A's third generation commander's independent thermal viewer, Hunter Killer, system. What does this mean? It means the Type 15 light tank can quickly lock onto targets and accurately eliminate them even in complex weather conditions with low visibility. On the battlefield, time is life. Being able to detect and eliminate the enemy immediately often gives one the initiative in war. The Type 15 light tank's advanced fire control system allows it to exert powerful combat effectiveness in various complex environments, becoming a nightmare for the enemy. Compared to other countries' light tanks, the Type 15's firepower advantage is also very obvious. For example, India's Zorawar light tank, although also equipped with a 105mm main gun, has a relatively backward fire control system, making its combat capability in complex environments far inferior to the Type 15. This is like comparing a sharpshooter with an advanced scope to a novice with an ordinary gun, their performance on the battlefield is naturally incomparable. After discussing firepower, let's talk about defense. Many other countries' light tanks are easily destroyed, but the Type 15 light tank's defensive capabilities are exceptionally strong. Why is that? Firstly, the armor on the front of the Type 15 light tank's turret features a wedge-shaped design. This design is not arbitrary, it embodies profound scientific principles. Wedge-shaped armor can significantly reduce the chances of being hit directly by incoming enemy shells. When enemy shells strike, the wedge-shaped armor can disperse the impact force, making it difficult for the shell to penetrate directly, thereby increasing the tank's defensive capability. In a sense, this is like giving the tank a sturdy bulletproof vest, specially designed to better withstand enemy attacks. Secondly, the Type 15 light tank weighs only 36 tons, making it small in size and light in weight. Don't underestimate this, it's a major advantage. Its compact and agile body allows it to advance rapidly, maneuvering swiftly on the battlefield, making it difficult for the enemy to track and aim. High mobility also greatly enhances the tank's survivability, like an agile cheetah running freely on the battlefield, making it impossible for the enemy to get a hold. Finally, composite armor and explosive reactive armor, ERA, are installed on the front of the hull and the sides of the turret. These armors utilize China's new generation of materials and the latest metallurgical technology, and their defensive capabilities have already surpassed those of the early Type 96 main battle tank. Such protective configuration allows the Type 15 light tank to effectively withstand various attacks on the battlefield, providing reliable safety for the crew inside. In contrast, the USM-10 Booker light tank, while having certain performance aspects, clearly suffers from inadequate protection. Its hull is constructed from welded steel armor, and its turret uses welded aluminum alloy with spaced armor. While claimed to defend against certain attacks, it still appears powerless against some advanced anti-tank weapons. Compared to the Type 15's advanced protection technology, the M10 Booker is like a soldier wearing rudimentary armor, with significantly reduced survivability on the battlefield. Upon reading this, some military enthusiasts might ask, since we already have such formidable heavy tanks, why waste money developing light tanks? In fact, by understanding a little about China's national conditions and the international situation, the reasoning becomes quite clear. China has a vast territory with long and complex borderlines and diverse terrains. In border defense operations, heavy tanks, due to their weight and size limitations, are inconvenient to maneuver in some complex terrains, making rapid deployment and combat operations difficult. Light tanks, on the other hand, are highly mobile and adaptable, capable of moving swiftly in mountainous and jungle terrains along the border, effectively responding to various emergencies. At the same time, with China's continuous rise in international status, its overseas interests are also growing. 
When overseas interests are threatened, there is a need to quickly dispatch military forces for protection. In such situations, transporting heavy tanks often requires a lot of time and resources, and in the complex terrains of some overseas regions, heavy tanks may not be able to play their proper role. Light tanks, however, can be rapidly deployed to the scene via air transport, sea transport, and other means, providing strong support for protecting overseas interests. Therefore, the development of light tanks is very necessary for China. It is an important guarantee for the Chinese army to achieve all domain operational capabilities. The emergence of the Type 15 light tank has not only enhanced the Chinese army's combat capability in special terrains but also provided the world with a brand new tank design concept. It demonstrates China's strong capabilities and innovative spirit in military technology, showing the world China's efforts to maintain global peace and security. In future wars, the Type 15 light tank will undoubtedly play an important role, becoming a sharp sword for the Chinese army, defending national sovereignty and territorial integrity. Alright, that concludes today's introduction to the Type 15 light tank. Military enthusiasts, if you have anything else to say about the Type 15 light tank, or are interested in other military equipment, feel free to leave comments and discuss below. See you next time.